The first topic in the new climate change unit is the difference between weather and climate. This is a key distinction for students to make, and one that they may have misconceptions about. In a nutshell, weather is short-term and temporary, while climate is long-term and more but not entirely permanent. In everyday life, we might use the two terms interchangeably or to casually describe similar things. Think of the climate control in your car, for instance. It's certainly not permanent. On day one, students will watch several videos and then self-assess their understanding of this important distinction. The first video from NOAA illustrates one of the most common analogies for distinguishing between weather and climate. Weather, it said, affects what clothes you wear on a specific day. Climate affects what you have in your closet in the first place. Here in New York City, I make sure I have a swimsuit for the summer, but also a heavy coat and snow boots for the winter, plus mid-weight options for spring and fall. If I lived in Florida, I'd probably ditch the coat and boots in favor of some flip-flops and a t-shirt. Another way to think about the difference between weather and climate is by comparing locations on Earth. The weather consists of the atmospheric conditions at any given time in a specific place, but we'd expect it in general to be warmer in Miami than in Anchorage because Florida has a warmer climate than Alaska. Some areas on Earth are hotter or colder or wetter or drier than others in general as a result of the unequal heating of the Earth's surface by the sun and the resulting oceanic and atmospheric currents. Students learned about these in the previous unit. Climate is the overall long-term average of weather conditions over the course of many years in a particular region and is pretty stable over time. Weather changes day to day and is based on temporary local variations in atmospheric conditions. One potential misconception that students may have is how the seasons fit into all of this. In New York, the seasons are pretty long-term, but they change within a few months. How can four dramatically changing seasons be part of climate? Remind students that a region's climate can include changing seasons because they are predictable and repetitive over long periods of time. Some areas of the world have seasons, like ours. But some, such as in the tropics, experience only two seasons, dry and monsoon, rather than our spring, summer, winter, and fall. After watching the first two videos and discussing what they've learned, students can use these statements to self-assess their understanding of the differences between weather and climate and you can use these statements to assess the students as well. Each statement refers to either weather or climate. Clues in each statement tell us which is which. Let's review some of the answers and explain why they refer to weather or climate. Number one, it rained on May 8th. This is a statement about weather because it refers to a specific weather event on a specific date. Does it rain every single year on May 8th? Unlikely. To change this into a statement about climate, we could instead say that it usually rains in May. Then it would describe a stable annual pattern. Number two, Germany is a cold country. This is a statement about climate because it refers to a region's general state on average, although it's not entirely true as Germany's climate is pretty comparable to New York's. A statement about weather instead could be it's going to be cold in Germany this weekend, because that refers to a specific short period of time. Number three, summer is hot. This is definitely a statement about climate, because it refers to the general state of a season that repeats every year. It's certainly possible to experience cold temperatures in the summer, perhaps the chill of a cold front moving in during a thunderstorm. But on average, during the summer, we expect it to be hot. Number four, the news says it's supposed to rain this weekend. This is a statement about weather because it's referring to a discrete weather event, a single rainstorm on a particular weekend, a very short period of time. A rainstorm is a temporary short-term atmospheric event, so that counts as weather. Florida is hotter than Alaska. Once again, here we're comparing two regions in general over a long period of time. Is Florida hotter than Alaska every day all the time? Not necessarily, but overall, we would expect Florida to be warmer than Alaska, mostly due to its latitude. That was an amazing thunderstorm last night. Here we have a couple of clues. First, it says storm, which is a discrete weather event, 
and it says last night. This is not a long-term event. This is something temporary. That makes this weather. Number seven says cities near the ocean tend to be wet. That word tend, or that phrase tend to be, is a clue that we're talking about climate. Cities near the ocean tend to be wet because they have easier access to water in the atmosphere because of evaporation from the ocean's surface. Number eight, it might snow in the Catskills tomorrow. Might is definitely a clue that suggests this statement is weather. Plus, snowing tomorrow refers to a short-term, discrete weather event. The pattern is pretty clear. When we compare two regions, or talk about what a region tends to be like overall or on average, we're generally referring to climate. When we refer to a particular weather event, especially on a particular date or time, we're generally referring to weather. To sum up, weather is temporary and short-term, it changes day to day, while climate is longer term and more stable over decades and centuries. Weather consists of the atmospheric conditions in a given time and place. For example, temperature, precipitation, wind, barometric pressure. Climate, on the other hand, is made up of the overall average of weather conditions in a region over a long period of time and is influenced by broader trends in global temperatures and atmospheric and oceanic currents. Weather tells us what to wear right now or whether to bring an umbrella, while climate tells us what to keep in our closets in the first place. Although the two concepts are closely related, the distinction between them is key for students to understand climate change.